superintendent looked up at me for the first time in my speaking in that time slot and said, I am not at liberty to discuss personnel issues. And I said, but you've already non-renewed that teacher. And she said, if we need another teacher, we'll hire another teacher. So we lost our seat change status not knowing if we need another teacher because we haven't done a screening yet. It's not until May. Okay. Hasn't even met in the newspaper. So we're down to one teacher, which means two classrooms. We get a lot of kids in, the school board said all kids are in. So we have to hire another teacher. Do you know that studies show that the cost of um, recruiting, interviewing, onboarding, training, you Google, Google it up. <laughs> <laughs> studies show that that cost ranges from 50% of salary to 150% of salary, depending on the role. So let's make easy math. Average teacher salary in the state is just over $50,000. For easy math, we're going to say average teacher salary is $50,000. Let's go conservative and say it's 50% of salary for onboarding, recruiting, training, all of that. So your 50,000 preschool teacher that you have who is here, who's already been onboarded, trained, knows all the district policies, has a reputation in the school with the parents, with the kids, with the teachers, with the administration, that $50,000 teacher just turned into a $75,000 teacher with no rapport, no relationship, no nothing starting from scratch with all of those kids. Because we made a decision to nominate a teacher without having facts. I'm sorry, that's my tax dollars. And I'm all for talking about the warm and fuzzies. I got the whole lady warm and fuzzies about the preschool teacher that works with my child who took him out of an after crisis who worked with me over the summer when she didn't have to because we couldn't get a hold of the special education director because she wasn't yet onboarded. Huh. It's not acceptable. Not acceptable at all. on what some of us have touched on, the personal issue. This is personal. These are our children. We take it seriously. They act like we're joking. We're not. I don't think anyone's joking. We have personal relationships with these teachers and staff. They are part of our community. They work in our community. They live in our community. They pay taxes. They're part of the local economy of our community. If you start plucking those people out, they, they're losing their jobs. That has an impact on our local economy and community. That's not okay. Um, these are friends. It was put forward at one deliberative session that resident implied that parents were here just to save our friends' jobs. Okay, that was offensive in many ways. I, these are my friends. These are my, my kids' teachers. I'm, my children are friends with their children. There are 